My name is Seven. I am a street art muralist and I'm located in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I was born an artist. I was drawing and doodling from the time I could hold a pen or a pencil. I would say I chose graffiti, but graffiti may have chose me in a way. I don't know where it came from, but it was always kind of like in the back of my mind, I, it was something I always wanted to do. I started when I moved to Atlanta, Georgia, right after high school, and it was really just an initial act of running around the city, tagging my name, just trying to get my name up as many places as I could possibly get it. But I was also attending art college at the time, so I was studying classes like graphic design and color theory and all of these traditional art classes as well. It was kind of a natural progression for me to go from graffiti writing to mural painting Throughout the years, it kind of evolved into a more professional and acceptable art form. When I was starting my professional muralist career, I painted a mural of a crane because it's like a spirit animal situation for me. And it was my first piece that was multi-story. I wanted to create something that had an impact, but also a personal meaning to me and kind of signified or symbolized my new initiative to become a professional muralist. Mostly what I'm getting these days are client commissions. A client commission is when a person or a company or an organization approaches me and says, hey, we would like you to paint a mural for us. Step one is I get an email from a potential client requesting to have a mural painted. I usually require the client to provide me a number of things. One, a photograph of the wall, measurements of the wall, and also any concept or ideas for what they want the mural to look like. A concept design is the art that's being created for the mural, the imagery. If you wanted to hire me to paint a mural and I ask you, what do you want the mural to look like? You would tell me, we want you to paint a, a particular subject. That subject would be the concept. Step two, we determine the size and location for that mural. The best way for me to determine the price of a mural is the formula of the square foot, basically. It's just easy, easy math, straightforward, and it's worked very well for me. Step three, once the concept design is approved, I go and purchase supplies. The spray paint that I use is pretty weather resistant and designed pretty well. It's like high quality paint, so it doesn't really require any sort of protective coating. However, I have lately been applying a clear coat or an anti-graffiti coat to my murals. It protects the colors, but it also provides a layer of protection from vandalism. With every mural project that I've created, there's always a monkey wrench in the process. It's like basically an unforeseen variable or something that happens that's unexpected that causes some sort of a difficulty or obstacle that you have to overcome and work your way through to the end, which has been a big learning experience for me in creating murals and doing work professionally. To me, being an artist means everything. That's, to me, is life. I don't know what life would be like without being an artist. It hasn't always been that way. It was a hard road to get here. But now that I'm here, I couldn't ask for anything more. If it's your passion, pursue it. I can't say 
there's any particular formula for an artist, you know, for the success of an artist, especially starting out, you have to find what you're interested in because art comes in many shapes and forms and you just have to find your voice and find what makes your heart sing. And if you're passionate about art, then just find a way to do it.